in this video I'll show you how to mend a jeans, how to repair crotch holes uh, without a patch, just with some stitching. So you're reweaving the fabric and we're trying to do this as invisible as possible. I'm showing you the tools that you need, giving you some tips and tricks and the technique. I tried this invisible mending technique on two pairs of jeans, a grey black one and a blue jeans, and they both had crotch tears. Take a close look at the torn area. Hold your jeans to the light to measure the area that needs to be repaired. If the part around the tear is also very thin, you will need to reinforce that area too. If not, you will quickly have a new tear on your hands. Clip off the frayed edges with your scissors. If you need to sew into a seam, you might need a sturdy jeans needle. If not, a regular needle will do the trick as well. For the grey jeans, I used all-purpose polyester thread. For the blue jeans, uh, embroidery thread. And I prefer the leather. It's thin, soft and also very strong. Always add a piece of backing to reinforce the area around the tear. I'm using regular iron-on fusible interfacing. So cut this a little bigger than the area you're going to stitch upon. And don't pinch the tear when doing this. Lay your fabric, your jeans, nice and flat. I'm using a darning foot for this job. With darning foot, you can sew in any direction you want. And you can see what you're doing. Just remove the regular presser foot and the presser foot holder from your machine and attach this specialty foot. If you're interested, we have these in our store. Then don't forget to lower your feed dogs before starting and test on a scrap. Choose a straight stitch and the stitch length is of no importance. Just move back and forward or sideways if you prefer that, but try to be as consistent as possible. With bigger tears, you will need to add two or maybe three layers of stitching. You are in fact reweaving the fabric. So first sew either the horizontal or the vertical thread along the weft or the warp thread. The vertical or the warp thread is often more visible. As a last layer, I would suggest to sew in a diagonal direction along the twill weave. Don't make the layers too heavy. Keep the stitches small and consistent. Don't change the direction in one layer and don't pinch tears together. The most difficult thing is to get a good grip to move the fabric back and forward very consistently. With the black jeans I made the stitches too big and the layers too heavy. And so my fabric got pulled together and the result is not that pretty. With my second attempt with the blue jeans, I think it was already much better. So with a little practice, you will get a long way. And even the grey jeans, with the mending that wasn't that clean, is back in business. So I hope I inspired you with this video and that you'll use this technique to give your jeans a longer life. Mm -hmm.